Here I will show you how to set up Mario Party Netplay. Step 1. Download the Netplay through either Mediafire or Mega, which one you prefer. 2. Open the zip extension with whatever program you would use, 7-zip. Extract to wherever you believe you want to put it. I will make one Mario Party. I'm good at spelling. So now that it is in my documents, we'll open that up. We will find Mario Party. So now we have a Mar Mario Party Netplay folder. And inside it, you should see all of these. Here, you have a games folder. Your files that should be here are Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. And it included Mario Party 1. So now I will go and get the Mario Party games from wherever I got them from. Move them over here. Now, we're going to open Project 64, MPM, MPN. First thing we're going to do is click File, choose ROM Directory. Now you are going to go to wherever you moved the games, which will be in the Mario Party Netplay 60 folder, 64 games folder. And they will pop up here like so. This is just for the sake of making it easy to open the games. Next, click ROM information just to make sure that the MD5 is the same as everyone you're playing with because it's important for it to work properly that you're all playing on the exact same ROM. Next, you're going to edit cheats and make sure that you all have the same cheats on. Now, if both of those are the same, then you guys should not have issues with desyncing. Next, if you double click the game, give it a second to load up. It'll give you a black screen with this. Now this is normal for this game to be black at this point. You should not be seeing anything here. Here is where you do all the changing your name, hosting games, joining games. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. This is not important. What's important is the join host and slash name. Now you can host a game if you would like through port forwarding. If you know how to do that through port 27886. But if you don't know how to port forward or don't have a friend port forwarded, that's okay. Over here, there is a New York play 64.com. You can double click this and it'll automatically create a room for you that is hosted in New York, as you can imagine. So you can see your ping down here to it. Right now, your name is MPN player. You can change your name to by slash name. And then right here, slash join the New York slash whatever. It's going to be whatever your room is. This is what you send your friends. They will copy it, paste it in here, and then they will join the game. And then to get the game started, type slash start. If everyone is on the same page, as in saves, then the game should start up normally. Make sure that you have your controller set up. Now, in the case that someone desyncs or the game crashes or someone dis you know disconnects for whatever reason, the game has to stop. They save in between every single turn. So as you will see here, after the turn, the game will save.
Now, in case the game does crash for whatever reason, or someone DCs, you know, disconnects, desyncs, whatever happens, you would go to saves. You will find your game. There's Mario Party, Mario Party 2, Mario Party 3 in the saves folder inside Mario Party Netplay 64. Save. Here you will find it. These are the save files for each game. So you would just send that to your buddies over Discord, you know, upload on Google Drive, whatever. If you share it with them, then you'll be on the same save as when it last saved for you in game. Last important note. Before you start every game, go to Netplay on the top, replace save files. A big command prompt window will appear. Whenever you start a game, it'll create a save file for your previous game played. Whenever you want to start a new game, you have to come in here and replace the save files. Replace. Why? After it says all your saves are correct, the check is done, press any key to continue. And that is it. You are all set up to play Mario Party Netplay.